Hey girlies, it's me, Journey82, and I'm here to do a second collab with Dink Deep Face. Um, the first one was the Reveal, I don't have it wrong, Reveal 2 palette, and the second one we're going to use is a Wet n Wild Fergie palette, and this one is Desert Festival, and this is what the palette looks like, and this is the look that I came up with, and I used every color from this palette only. So I'm going to just go ahead and get started because I don't want it to be too long. So I went ahead and primed my eyes with the Wet n Wild Fergie Take It On A Day Primer. I finally found it. It was missing for a while. And I used the color tattoo in Fierce and Tangy. I be this is one of the original 10 that first came out. And I believe this is one of the shades that are that is now discontinued and looks like this. And mine is like dried out like. I have to revive it. I didn't know it was just that bad, but I really wanted to use this orange. So, um, I, I was able to get some with my Real Techniques brush. And then on top of that, I put where's the other? Okay. this City Color Orange, which was not the same orange on top of it to give it a little more color because, like I said, it was like severely dried out. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the palette. First, I'm going to take this, the lighter shade in the um, palette, and I'm using a blending brush. I'm sorry if I keep sniffling because I have a cold. And I'm going to bring it down to my crease because I'm going to use this as my highlight color and also my transition color as well. Hope y'all can see. I'm going to take this Coastal Scents Fluffy Blending Brush and this middle matte brown. I'm going to put that in my crease and blend out the color tattoo that I put on. I'm going to go back into the brow bone color to blend the brown out. I'm going to take a Sonia Kashuk brush and on one side I'm going to use I'm going to use both sides of the brush but I'll explain. Um, I'm going to use this matte this is like a, a rust peach color and I'm going to put that on my lid on top of the orange base this is like my second time trying to do a look with this palette the first one I didn't like at all so that's why it took me so long to make this video sorry I'm blending it into the crease color. Now I'm just going to flip the brush on the opposite side. And I'm going to take the sparkly peach color right there. And place that on the beginning half of my lid. And in my inner tear duct area. And I'm going to blend it into the matte color that's on my lid as well. I'm going to go back into my crease because I want to make it a little darker. But first, I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to take this Scandalized Pencil by Rimmel and that to the bronze. Just the dark bronze color. Bronzy brown. Put that right there. And I'm going to get a smudge brush and I'm going to take this shimmery dark brown right here. And put that right on top of that. Oh, I'm making funny faces. Oh. I'm going to just smudge it out at the bottom. I'm going to go back with the Sonia Kashuk brush on the side that I used the lightest um, shade right there. I'm going to put more in my inner chair deck and blend it with my lower lash line. 
and also make sure it's blended out in the front part of my eyelid like so I'm gonna go back um, into the matte middle color with the same fluffy bl blending brush and Just make it a little bit darker. And blend out the edges of that with the elf blending brush. Like so. So I'm going to do my lashes, my liner, and my lips off camera. And I'm going to come back and show you all the products that I use. So be right back. Okay, girlies, I'm back, and this is the completed look. So for my lashes, I'm still using my Salon Perfect Lashes in 105. For my liner, I use my L'Oreal Lacquer Liner. I believe that's what it's called, in black. And I use that with a Real Techniques Painted Brush, which I really love as well. Um, lash adhesive, you already know. And let's see what I was mascara, which is my favorite mascara of the moment, the Miss Manga. And this is the darkest shade. So this one is in 374 blackest black, which I need to get another one of these. Um, and for my lips, I've been like on a nude kick like for a while now, and I don't know what that's really about. But I'm trying to find like the perfect nude, so I've just been wearing like different type of nudes. So, I tried a combination yesterday and I liked it, so I decided to wear it again today. So, I primed my lips with the MUA. This is their, what does it say, their lip primer. But this is what it looks like. And if you don't want to go out and pay the money for a lip primer, you can probably just prime your lips with a concealer. Then I used the Milani... Color Statement Lip lip Liner in All Natural in number 04. And I'll just do a swatch right there. That's what it looks like. You can barely see it, but it's right there. Oh, I just realized all of my lip products were Milani. And this is the Milani, the old packaging. And this is in Barely There. And I believe this is discontinued. But you may look up. I think I looked up and found a second one at the Dollar Tree when all of the Milani products were... Um, popping up and this is a, a pinky nude right there and then on top of that I used the Milani what is this called the brilliant shine lip gloss and number zero one which is bare secret which is yeah, it's kind of pinky nude pinky brown nude and it's right there so those are the three lip products that I have on so once again, I used the Fergie palette in Desert Festival, and I and this is a limited edition palette, so if you don't have it, I do apologize. And this is the look that I came up with. Hope y'all can see it. And I really like the first, much better than the first look that I did with this palette. So let me know what you girlies think, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.